Okay, we got the bikes and Woozy taking care of the uniforms. Now we just gotta get an armored van and respray it with the Caligula's Casino logo. Why don't we steal one while it's on its rounds? That way we can make some money too. Nah, I don't wanna get the crew caught up in some street level jack and it could get up. Um, I, I have an idea. Um, have you ever seen those helicopters they use to lift heavy loads? Yeah, they call them sky cranes. We could lift the whole truck and take them to someplace safe. Then we need to steal a sky crane. Unfortunately, I'm not a pilot. Well, me neither. Hey, don't look at me. Or me. Shit. I'll fly it then. We could respray it at the airstrip. Yeah, Carl. It'll be just like fighting Berkeley, only bigger. Yeah, thanks for that. Hey you, what's going on? You with Tyson here to bring you guys a new video. This is GTA San Andreas. Now today's video is going to be in a tutorial style because this mission is very difficult. So when you get to the army base you will find that the gate is open but only when the van is there. Now you can get in the van, only thing is it's not going to help too well. As you can see there, guards are equipped with AKs and they absolutely hit. Now I thought getting in the van while it was in the gates was not a good way to do things so I decided to go and steal the van while it was out and about. It took a lot of time, trust me. Now my reason for this was I thought it was going to be like a disguise, I thought it was going to help me not get shot. You know, got to the gates, everything looked good, you know. I wonder you guys, what are you doing? But, nah. Uh, so the van has no meaning to the mission at all. It's just there, just for the beginning mission, for when the gate's open. Now, when you're inside here, you want to find yourself the best place possible, with the least guards possible. So I found this route to be the best way to do it. So if you go around the side here, you're going to find a path, just keep following that path up. Now you're not going to find any guards back here, so you're going to be pretty safe, you're not going to have too much trouble, just keep following this path. Now it's always good to be cautious because there are other guards around and they might pop up, you never know. In this case, it didn't happen um, at this point, but yeah, just definitely go slowly. So we're almost there, you might be tempted to shoot some of the guards from a distance, but don't do that at all. The guy up on the staircase is actually really difficult, to be honest, this is probably a really good place. Now you'll find these containers here, these containers are going to help you out really well, that's where they are on the map. The good thing is you can jump up on these containers, really handy, use the containers and just launch yourself over the fence there. So we've gone through a pretty big step, we've made it round here uh, without too much trouble, but it doesn't mean the trouble's over. Now I would suggest guys don't go in with a tech 9, don't go in with a pistol, anything short range is really going to hurt. Because it means you have to get close to these guys while they're using AKs. And again, the AKs stink. Grenades, please leave them out. The grenades ain't going to help too well unless you really are a crack shot with them. So the AK, guys, is going to be your weapon of choice. Now, you're going to be like a turret, so you're going to be stood still while using an AK. But the range is brilliant. That guard never had a chance. Don't get up on any of those containers as well for a better shot. Just keep yourself nicely hidden. So the flamethrower there as well isn't going to help. The flamethrower, when you use it, it can set the ground on fire. So you could find you catch yourself on fire, or you might not be able to advance until the fire is actually settled down. Now you will find some guards back here too. So just make sure to take them out as carefully as possible. Just minimize the damage that you're taking. There's a guard up here on the staircase, just get him like this. 
you know, just roll and shoot. Now you may find the aggro that was chasing you in the beginning will make its way to you. Uh, two guards found their way to me, but you might have more or you might have none. Just keep a good ear open on the sounds of any voices. So make your way up the staircase, you're going to find there's a guard up there too. Listen for the shots, when he stops shooting, that's when you go in. That's the key thing when they're using AKs. They do a few shots, they start a few shots, then stop. Uh, what That stop moment gives you a time just to react. So one guard up on the helipad, but there is a second one. But just follow path against the wall there. There's another guard right ahead. You're going to be open to the guard above. Don't worry too much. Just take the time. That's all you need to do this mission. It did take me a good few tries because of all the rushing things. Now here you're going to find a turret. Go ahead, get yourself on that turret and blast the heck out of these choppers. They're not going to give you too much trouble. Just have fun blowing them up. Finally, I get to let out some stress with this mission. I, me and CJ are absolutely flexing right now. We made it this far, got past guys with AKs. It has been a crazy mission. Let's get in the chopper. Finally. So, once you're in the chopper, it's not the end of the mission. This is a really big mission. Another reason why I did the tutorial. Now, I'm using mouse and keyboard. With the mouse and keyboard, the controls are going to be different. So, the controller, uh, the Q key and the E key are what going to rotate the helicopter. Uh, w is to go up into the air. The D key is go down. So all we have to do now is head on over to the van. Now the van you'll need to pick up using the magnet. Now using the page up or page down key on the keyboard will lift, either lift the magnet with page up or drop the magnet down with page down. Now once you've picked up the van, go really slowly because the van will swing quite a lot. As you can see there's lampposts and all sorts around you. So just try and manoeuvre uh, without being too rushful. You know what? Just get some air, clear any obstacles in front of you that way, you're going to be cool, so don't worry. Now we're taking the van to the airstrip. Look to the van shadow when it comes to placing the van down. I was looking at the helicopter you see, so when it came to dropping the van, I didn't put it down as correctly as I should have. Again, go easy. Ain't got a word here, we're almost towards the end. Just a little temperamental. Oh, there it is. No, no, too wheeling like a boss though. Ain't doing too bad there. Yes, there we go. Nicely in place. We just detach the magnet. And to really finish things off, we've got to then land the helicopter. So 
So I hope you guys have found this tutorial to be very, very helpful. I tried to be as careful as possible to make sure the instructions were detailed and as correct as possible as well. Uh, this is my own play, so I didn't, you know, go on YouTube looking for the best play for this mission. Um, this is all me. And I hope you enjoyed the music as well, which I've put together for the video. Good looking. Where's Woozy? I don't know. He insisted on driving here himself. He could be anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, dude, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later. So thank you so much guys, it has been a pleasure doing this mission and getting this video out there for you. I do spend a lot of time on these videos so the tutorials do take a lot of time. You know, making sure everything looks good is also, uh, you know, really important. So listen, if you can subscribe, that is brilliant. If you can like, that's brilliant. If you can comment, that's brilliant. I hope to see you guys soon. You'll stay good. See you soon. Peace. See you there. Bye.